welcome back to another episode of Mystery Box Monday. Today we are opening up 20 mystery packs that I picked up off of eBay. They are known as the Absolute Mystery Packs. This is their first series. I think they're sold out of these now, but they did put up another series, a Series 2, which is similar to this. And uh, I think it's a little cheaper, actually, their Series 2. This one is $30 per mystery pack. And each pack contains one auto and one relic, along with eight additional cards, all individually protected. And the monster hits that we're after is a Tatis PSA 10 rookie card, which you see pictured right there. A Luis Robert first Bowman PSA 10 and a Luis Bowman High Tech Auto PSA 9. They made 250 of these packs. I got 20 of them, and uh, let's see what we can find in these today. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, I guess we'll just get started here. Uh, Jason, you're up first. Spot number one. Now, looks like these are just typical um, bubble mailers, black bubble mailers, which is kind of cool. Doesn't look like it's, you know, like cheap or anything. But inside Jason's mystery pack... We have a hit of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. out of 49 from National Treasures. That's pretty darn awesome right there. So our very first card is a nice Vladdy Jr. I'll tell you what, when this card first came out, this card was probably like a $200 card. Numbered 3 out of 49 for Mr. Jason L. And you also have some other hits here. So that's your autograph. That's a pretty darn good auto. you got Randy Johnson Albert Pujols, Jose Altuve, Sanchez, Marian Rivera, Yogi Berra, Jesus, Lusardo, 85, Miggy, and your relic is a Gregory Polanco, double bat and jersey. And you get a bonus auto as well, Justin Masterson. So, Jason, congrats on that first hit. Nice Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Spot number two is for Brian. Let's see what we can find for Brian. In his pack, we have um, an Ichiro. Gallery of the Stars card leading things off. You'll have to let me know in the comment section what you think of these packs. Uh, scale of 1 to 10. 10 being a great deal for the money, which is $30. Robbie Alomar, Mini 89. That's a pretty cool one. The hits are going to be Max Freed from Tom's Holiday. And your auto is a David Vidal Red's prospect card. So, Brian, thank you very much. You are in the book. Spot number three is for A-Rod. Let's continue on through these. Let's see what we can find for Mr. Alex Rodriguez. On the very top, we have a nice Johnny Bench 1977 Tops card. I like the vintage stuff. I think um, I'm going to probably switch gears and maybe do a Mystery Box Monday where I focus on trying to find a product that specializes in vintage cards. Todd Frazier, Austin Hayes, rookie from Tops Fire, is your relic. And your autograph is Travis Hafner out of 400. So, so far, nothing really touching that um, Vladdy Jr. Next pack up, let's see what we can find for Mr. Joshua M. Got a David Bodie on the back or the front, depending on how you look at it. We got a Chris Shaw, Jake Bowers, Nick Gordon Chrome. There's an Andre Dawson from Allen and Ginter. Dylan Cease, Mike Lowell, rookie class card, Trevor Story. There's a Justin Upton, Relic, and Oswaldo Gar Garcia, uh, Chrome Auto there from 2013 Tops Chrome. All right, so. I would say right now we're definitely one for four in terms of uh, getting our money back. I feel like the last three packages, we have not received $30 of value. Tell me if I'm wrong, but um, and then that Vladdy's a really nice card. I don't know what that Vladdy goes for offhand. I don't have my computer nearby where I can just hop on to eBay and check it out, but definitely a great card. All right, Brian, spot number five. Let's see what we can find for you. Um, there's a 1970 Glenn Becker. That's pretty nice. We have a Topps Inception, a Xander Vogarts. There's a gone, Adrian Gonzalez, and the auto is Bryce Brents. It's his first Bowman Chrome card, but unfortunately Bryce Brents hasn't really done anything in the big leagues. I know the Pirates signed him to a spring training uh, invite oh, a couple years ago, and he did okay in spring training, but eh, I don't know. 
So next up for Andy in spot number six, we got a Kyle Schwarber first Bowman. That's what I'm talking about. I like rookies and first Bowman cards. So Kyle Schwarber, 2014 Bowman first. We got another rookie card coming up of Dwight Smith. Looking for some monsters in here, monster hits. I'd like to find one of the cards they advertise on the front of this. We have a John Papelbon and Logan Ice is our final card and our autograph. Next up is Steve, spot number seven. Steve, best of luck to you. Now, whenever you do mystery packs, whenever you buy into mystery packs that have a chase component to it, where you're chasing these very valuable cards, what you typically see is you see a lot of the packs aren't going to equal out in terms of, uh, you know, the value buy-in. So, I don't know. Obviously, if you're going to get packs like, let's say that you put a $1,000 card in the mystery uh, mystery packs and you buy, I don't know, let's say you make 10 uh, packages, you have to charge $100 a piece at least to get that back. And most of the cards that you give away are going to be way less in those packs. That's just the way it goes. We might have a hit here. We have a one touch for Steve. So, Steve, get ready. Let's see what we have for you. We're going to have a Byron Buxton rookie card. That's pretty nice. David Dahl rookie card. John Allerud, 94 gold. Kyle Ripken Jr., that's a pretty nice relic right there. So this is the second best pack so far, in my opinion. I love that, Ripken. And your auto is a Manny Machado auto from the 18U team. When Machado was just a little boy, I guess, 18 years old and under, Manny Machado, that's actually pretty nice. A very young Manny Machado in his teenage years. Auto. I'm not sure what that's worth. That's a pretty cool hit, Steve. Congratulations on that one. Next up is for David, spot number eight. Let's see. You have a Gavin Lux rookie car on the front. Very, very nice. Like that one a lot. Rated rookie optic. There's Nelly Cruz, Derek Fisher. We've got a Frankie Montas rookie card in there as well. There's Alexei Ramirez, Xavier Scruggs, and Kurt Suzuki. World Series game used as your relic and your hit is going to be Jordan Zimmerman. So Jordan Zimmerman just returned uh, from injury recently. And it's had a really rough go up in Detroit since signing that nice big contract. Hopefully Jordan Zimmerman can get going back on track. I don't know if he will or not, but uh, I'm kind of rooting for him. Jordan Zimmerman always was a kind of a cool guy whenever I would see him in batting practice. All right, we'll just continue on through this stack right now. Here's spot number nine for Daniel B. Thank you very much for being here on this episode of Mystery Box Monday. We also have the Bowman Chrome case break today. Tomorrow we'll have the Big Bat Box Diamond Edition for you. It's a brand new product from them, a high-end Big Bat Box, basically. That'll be a fun one. There's Steven Strasburg, rookie debut card from 2010 Tops Update. That's a pretty nice one. Steve Duggar. There's a Cliff Lee, Steven Gonzalez, Robin Yount, Hall of Famer. And your hit. You have an Alex Gordon as your relic and a Gabriel Guerrero as your Bowman Chrome. So, Daniel, thank you very much. Spot number nine is in the books. Let's go to spot number 10. Philip. Let's see what we can find for you. So we have a Mike Trout card leading things off. Always nice to see Trout cards. I love this picture of Trout climbing the wall like Spider-Man robbing a home run. Zach Greinke about ready to put on his Diamondbacks uniform for the first time there. A Trey Turner purple. That's going to be uh, not numbered, but a cool-looking card nonetheless. Miggy, Nick Madrigal, Joe Maurer playing some first base there. We have a Dansby Swanson relic for you, Philip, and a Jose Parasa back when he was with the Braves, Bowman Inception. So, Philip, thank you very much. Next spot up, spot number 11, the halfway point of Mystery Box Monday. This one is for Carrie. Best of luck to you, Carrie. See what we can find. We got, oh, we have a hit. It's a Gem Mint 10. We might as well just show it to you. A Derek Jeter 2001 Topps Gallery PSA 10. Very cool card right there for you, Kerry. Congratulations. I know a lot of you are Derek Jeter fans. A lot of you are Yankees fans. And that's a pretty nice pull right there. Derek Jeter PSA 10. And you also have a Bowman Platinum rookie card of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. on the front of your mystery pack. 
Frankie Lindor on the 16U team. Very, very young Frankie Lindor. Mark McGuire, weird, like, discs, CD disc card. I don't know what that's all about. There's A-Rod, glistening gold. We have a Kevin Keys. Uh, is that? I guess that's an autograph. I don't think uh, – they're not going to count that as your autograph. It's kind of like a bonus. DJ LeMayhew and Taylor Ward is your autograph. It's his rookie. Taylor Ward, rookie auto. Nice one right there. Moving right along, next up, spot number 12. This one's going to Mr. Mark R. Whoops, got to get this Derek Jeter with curious cards. All right, Mark, let's see what we can find in spot number 12. We'll move these on up. Best of luck to you. Uh, get this opened up. So we have a Gary Sanchez select card there. Looks like your autograph might be Adam Eaton from the Washington Nationals. If I can, uh, Gary Sanchez is sticking to the team back there. There we go. All right. So here's your cards. Gary Sanchez leads things off. Chris Shaw, David Price. We have first class card of Anibal Sanchez, Masahiro Tanaka, a nice Bowman Chrome rookie debut rookie card of Austin Meadows. Like that one. Helio Ramos, first Bowman Miguel Tejada is your relic and your autograph is Adam Eaton back when he was with the Diamondbacks. So, Mark, thank you very much. That's your spot. Lucky number 13. Up now we have 20 spots. Here's number 13. Steven, let's see what we can find for you on this episode of Mystery Box Monday. So, um, I don't know. Put your pack has a Glaber on the front and a Josh James on the back. Josh James is likely going to be autographed. It seems like they put the auto last in every pack. Let's see if there's any surprises in the middle here. There's a rookie card of Nick Castellanos. His opening day rookie card, Adrian Beltre, Deco Edge, a nice Mike Piazza. Bowman and Crum, there's Machado. Pulled his autograph already tonight. Eddie Rosario relic and a nice Josh James auto and jersey patch. Josh James for Steven. Steven, thank you very much. Next up spot, number 14. This one is for Mr. Matt Brown. Let's see what we can find for you. Still no signs of Robert or Tatis yet. Well, I guess our odds, we've got 20 out of the 250, so not... Oh, there we go. How about that? Luis Robert. Just say no sign of Luis Robert, and boom, there he is. It happens all the time. So, Luis Robert rookie card on the front of the pack. Rated rookie card there from Optic. Very nice. So Mike we've seen a rookie card from 91 Upper Deck. We have a National. Johnny Bench card from the National. 1987 design. That's pretty cool. Jesse Biddle rookie card. Dom Smith rookie card. Yon Moncada rookie card from Gypsy Queen. 2017. Very nice. Chance Adams rookie. Auto from Gypsy Queen. And your hit is from the museum collection. It's a quad relic of Steven Strasburg. Out of 99, 98 of 99 for Matt. So, Matt, congrats on the Strasburg quad relic. Next up for Mr. Ryan, spot number 15. Let's see what we can find for you. Only five more after this. How about a Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie card? Very nice. That's a nice hit right there. There we go. That is from Heritage, 2019 Heritage High Number, and that's the best card in the set right there. Of course, you know, Tatis rookie cards are on fire and will only continue to go up, especially after he wins his um, MVP this year, it looks like. Hugh Darvish might win the Cy Young Award this year. Hey, Shane Bieber might win the Cy Young Award this year. That's his second year card on the Bieber. Michael Taylor, Chrome rookie. We have our hit. It's a Brian Giles relic from Upper Deck SP, DJ Peterson is our auto, and Kendry's Morales is our bonus auto. So two autos there for Ryan. Congrats, Ryan. The best card for me, for my money there, is that Tatis. All right, Jason, you are up next, spot number 16. Let's see what we can find for you. You got a, hey, Trevor Bauer, rookie card. He might be the Cy Young Award winner in the NL as well. Be a nice race there between Darvish and Bauer. Trevor Bauer rookie card. Check that one out. I like that one. Congrats on finding that. Nolan Ryan, a rookie card of a... Uh, is that... Who is that? Is that Keith? No. Why do I not know who that is? Uh, I don't know. No name on that one. 
There's Garrett Richards. We have Trey Mancini. And Willine Rosario is our hit right there. So nice Trevor Bauer and a mysterious Brewer uh, rookie card in there as well. Chris, you're up next, spot number 17. Let's see what we can find for you. Got a Pete Rose 81. Tossing it back to that infamous 81 Donruss set. Pete Rose leads things off. Luis Urias there. Brian Dozier. Sandy Koufax. Cool looking card right there. Uh, Adolis Garcia. We've got a Ryan Braun. A couple quote-unquote no-name rookies in there. Yadier Molina. Patch card right there. A silhouette batter logo. Kind of a cool looking manufactured patch card from 2015 Tops. Haven't opened any of those blasters. I don't know if I've ever opened a 2015 Tops blaster actually. We got a National Pride card there of Michael Griffin. That's your relic and your auto is Tommy Hansen. Tommy Hansen, of course, has uh, passed away, unfortunately. Got an auto right there of him. And next up, Brandon, spot number 18. Only three packs left to go on this episode of Mystery Box Monday. Hope, hope you're all having a great Monday. I uh, Let's see. I will hopefully also see you in the live stream of Bowman Chrome this evening. And then tomorrow for our Big Bat Box uh, opening, we'll put that up. Jameson Tyone, that's his pro debut card. Pretty nice. Will Clark, 87 Don Russ. Ryan Braun is the relic. And Paul Blackburn is the auto for Brand. So we've got two packs left. Let's see if we can find something great in our last two packs. It's going to be up to Greg and steven so here we go greg you're up first grand total of 10 cards in each pack eight additional cards one autograph one relic got to make sure all the cards are away from the cut zone right there you don't want to snip any of your cards and look at what we got right here we have the chase card greg you have yourself a psa 10 fernando tatis jr that's literally the best card that you can find in one of these mystery packs that's the reason I bought it. I wanted to hopefully find it. It's advertised on their website. It's advertised on the front of every pack. And we got it. Greg, congratulations. That is one of the hottest cards right now. Of course, Tatis. I've been looking for this card. I pulled it out of a pack uh, last week from the baseball card store. And I was super stoked. It took me like 12 packs to do it. And Greg, here you go. You got the chase card. A PSA 10. Fernando Tatis Jr. popping up here almost at the very end. How about that? Take a look at that. A beautiful gem mint PSA 10 for Greg's collection. I'm going to have to look this up and see what it goes for. It's worth several hundred dollars, uh, Tatis, and it's only going to go up and up. And if that wasn't enough for you, Greg... You have Luis Robert, 85, style design on the front. What a great mystery pack. A huge success finding the chase card. They made 250 of them. When I got on eBay, there was only a few left. I feel like, oh, I don't know, there might have been like 30 left or so, and they were selling pretty fast. So it's like, I'm just going to buy 20 of these and give it a try. Hopefully, you know, maybe we'll have, what, like roughly a 10% chance of finding that Tatis with 250 packs. And what about that? We found them. So that's awesome stuff right there. What else can we find? Mariana Rivera. We have Bobby Bradley Sepia. Trevor Bauer. Game used relic and a Usniel Diaz autograph. But who really cares about any of that when you have that come your way, way, Greg? How about that? Greg, congratulations, man. A huge, huge, gigantic hit. It's spot number 19. So some nice hits tonight in this product. Steven, you're the last one up. So... The number one card is gone, but maybe you'll find that Luis Robert first Bowman PSA 10, which is also a really awesome card. Wouldn't that be something at the number one and number two card? Let's see if we can do it. It looks like it's not going to happen because there's uh, no graded card in here, but let's see who you have. We have a Mookie Betts, Steven Duggar, Corey Kluber, Jake Bowers, there's a Jeff McNeil rookie card, which isn't too bad. Brooks Robinson, your your hit, your relic hit is going to be a Craig Kimbrell. Nice one right there for 2015, Alan and Ginter. And the final card is a Kendall Graven rookie auto. So, Stephen, thank you very much. Big winner of the day is Greg with the PSA 10. 
the great prize that we were after. I'm so happy we found it. I hope you guys liked this video. Please hit the thumbs up button. Please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single Mystery Box Monday. We do these videos every Monday. We pick up some mystery packs and rip them, and it is really, really fun. So have a great rest of your Monday, and I'll see you all later.